we've all heard that phrase, what kind of world are we living to our children? Uh, nine years ago, I became the father of a little boy. And three years ago, I got blessed again with uh, my little girl. And uh, now this concern about the world that we're living um, for them to live, uh, it now has a deeper sense and a more serious meaning to me. Uh, 30 years ago, this was a weak trend here in Mexico. And 30 years later, we see that we're coming short in our efforts. More drastic changes have to be made. Climate change has become an urgent matter. I painted Nimbus One a few months ago, uh, before the, even before the brief came out. It was um, one of those glorious, beautiful days. Uh, the sky was amazing. It was uh, a huge cloud far away with uh, a side of a storm and another side had uh, uh, some sunlight com coming in and it just uh, it floored me it really did it put the skyline of the city in perspective to this immensity of nature i painted it it really blew my mind and uh, one of my thoughts was uh, that we were going to lose nimbus one so I painted Nimbus 2 as a contrast, cold and decadent. And both paintings are like the yin and yang. They both have the human element, uh, but this interacts differently in each one. I hope to get the viewer to really feel the difference and get concerned and uneased uh, with the Nimbus 2 as opposed to Nimbus 1. Uh, with that, I hope to to amaze the viewer. My role as an artist, or what I think my role is as an artist in the fight towards climate change. Well, before this initiative, as I said, I thought this was, I, I thought about this as a separate matter. My art and climate change had little in common and uh, in my mind, of course. But now I realize that um, we have a very powerful tool in our hands we have uh, expression through our art we can show the world our, um, our concern and create awareness we need more people uh, to realize that they can also make a difference and uh, we can all i'm sure we can all beat this if we work together